Uh, Leon says, what do you suggest for new authors who is interested in doing TikToks or IG lives with other authors in the same genre as a launch party type of thing? Girl, okay. So even before I started my author career, and remember, I'm a published author of five years. I had my five-year author anniversary this year. I was helping authors to do just that. I started before any of the social media platforms had live streaming. Before Facebook, before Instagram, before YouTube, none of them were live streaming. I used a webinar platform to live stream. I had talk shows. I had launch parties. We did interviews. We did incredible things. And I wasn't an author yet. I was just helping them out. I'm a huge fan of creating live streams. Why? Because now, in 2022, the social platforms are pushing video content because that's what we're consuming. The majority of people are not stopping to watch photos or text posts. They're going beyond those. They want to see video content and they want to see live content because it's the way to interact in real time. So live streaming is one of the best things that you can do, whether it is on YouTube, Amazon Live, whether it is on and Amazon Live, super fun. By the way, if you're selling things, you can sell directly from Amazon. A affiliate links. Amazing. You can live stream on TikTok. You can live stream on Instagram. Now there are some specifications for things like TikTok. You have to have a thousand followers to be able to then live stream, which means if you're creating those live streams and you want a guest on, they have to have a thousand followers to be able to join you. Outside of that, there are not too many restrictions, and this is a really great way to have those conversations. So setting up launch parties or interviews or talk shows or whatever you want, is a great way to build up your community and doing it on a consistent basis every Tuesday at 8 p.m., every Monday at 10 a.m. Oh gosh, I actually had a talk show Mondays at 10 a.m. Um, you are creating a space that people know to come back to every week. You're creating basically a TV show and they can show up and they can have these conversations with you and other authors. It's really nice to have other people guest on your shows because then it's not just you talking. A lot of times I do live streams alone because it's hard to find guests to come on your show. Believe me, I've been doing this for a long time. And you have to then come up with content by yourself. You have to talk by yourself and be engaging to your audience by yourself. Having guests on means you can take turns talking. It means you can grab water when you need it. It means that you can read those comments without having to stop what you're doing or have to learn how to read while you're talking. It means that you have community and conversation and you don't have to have the entire burden of carrying the entire conversation yourself. So I highly recommend it. Now, finding people in your space, in your genre, other authors that people are going to want to read when they read your books is ideal. That way, when they're done reading your book, because you're not going to write fast enough for those voracious readers, unless you're me, <laughs> that's a joke, but I write really fast. Um, you have other people you can send them to. So they'll read your novel. And when they're waiting for your next one, they can go read the other person's novel. You can share a community. It's really, really good for building up your presence. So I highly recommend getting people on live streams with you as often as possible. And it doesn't just have to be people on your level. You're not going to reach for like the super high reaching people until you have a very highly developed platform, but you are going to look for people who are actively taking the opportunity to live stream and to be present on social media. Meaning if you are seeing people who show up in the space frequently, they're probably going to be more likely to say yes to you. If you reached out to me and said, hey, I'm doing a live stream. I would love for you to guest on it. The answer would probably be yes. Unless there was some kind of time conflict, I say yes to everything that I possibly can. Or if, I mean, if it's like a really bad fit, we don't do that. But like, take every opportunity you can. Be on other people's shows, have people on your shows. Pull in their community and use your community for them. That's the best thing you can do when it comes to marketing is to share those readers to make sure you're all leveling up. And P.S. When you do this, please reach out to me because I'll say yes.